But Jalen Brunson now set the tone early for the Knicks, man. Started off yes, the game. he did. Attacked the paint. Got into his specialty. Right into the paint. Nice little one-handed floater. Got us going, man. He scored from all three levels. The footwork was on display. Uses physicality well to get separation, which he which he does very, very well given his size. And I'm just watching this guy, man, and I'm like, wow, this is different. <laughs> Forget all the savior talk. We we know that. Forget all the savior talk and 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 you know 50 bergs and all that. Forget all that. I'm just talking about what that looks like right now compared to what we've had and what we can expect this season. That looked pretty damn good. That looked pretty damn good. Talk talk to me about Brunson tonight, man. I loved every minute of it, and it's been so long since we've had a point guard. You know, we had that Band-Aid package of Raymond Felton and Jason Kidd, which did the trick for for the 20, uh, 2012-2013 season, but this is different, man. A guy that just – you just saw it as soon as he stepped on the floor. He, yeah. You said it. He attacked. He controlled the pace of the game. He was knowing he, – he, he was dishing it to everybody, knowing who to get involved at the right time. When the Pistons started to get close, he was like, all right, I'm going to get us back up in this lead yeah. and would just drive and attack the paint. It wasn't a speed, yeah. even flying past guys, but he was still able to use his strength to just nudge by and finish around the rim. It was great, man. I loved everything about watching Jalen Brunson on this team, having him being this, just the new quarterback yeah. of this team is going to just change the, the, the outlook, but everyone else, you know, came to play too. Everyone looked ready. It was in shape, was uh, in well conditioned. Yeah, they were they were knocking off the rust a little bit early on, but overall, Jalen Brunson, yeah. man, got a new captain. Yeah, still- and not to get too high, not to get too low, but again, with Brunson, this is his game. Whether it's preseason or not, this is his game. And again, just the wrinkle that he brings to this offense is going to be really, really nice. The driving kicks is what I was looking for, and who's going to knock it down? Is RJ going to knock down his opportunities? Is Julius going to knock down his opportunities? It's a bit of a mixed bag, but I think Brunson creating for those guys off of his drives is going to be really big. So that was a plus. Uh, uh, Drew, three three offensive fouls in the preseason, which was also good. So good good job by uh, Brunson on, on both ends of the floor. Uh, what I'm thinking from seeing what I saw today is mm-hmm. that – they already have it out probably with Brunson saying that they would like him to make at least 20 to 25 a game, okay? Mm-hmm. Barrett at least 20 to 25 a game. Randall anywhere from 18 to 20 a game. Mm-hmm. And then maybe for the other guys, maybe something like for Mitch, 10 with 15 rebounds, Fournier, three to, three, three to six three-pointers a game, if mm-hmm. possible. He only did three attempts. Yeah. And then on the bench... I'm seeing quickly he had five of his, five and 11, 11 attempts mm-hmm. and top and six of nine, nine attempts. So what I'm thinking is that with the three, big three, I'm thinking they want him to be in the 20 to 25 range. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that Brunson is being probably told, you know, to keep the ball in his hands a little more mm-hmm. and kind of um, control the, control the offense where Randall's not getting that ball that much, and that's yeah. what I'm seeing right now Yeah, well, with the evaluation. Sure, and listen, you, you heard Tibbs, um, and Tib, Tibbs is, was high on Brunson, man, and he said, look, this this is our guy. So Tibbs is going to put that ball in Brunson's hands, man. This is our floor general. This is this is finally the point guard that can start and give us you know longevity, durability as well, and, and run this offense, what, what Tibbs is looking for. Get downhill, downhill and spray. And you just hope that well, when he does kick it out, that you know Julius can knock down his jumpers, RJ can knock down his jumpers, or or they create on on the secondary break, or it's Fournier who's who's either shooting or knocking down his jumpers. Two for four from downtown was Brunson, had a nice three, uh, relocating on a Julius dime, seven to nine from the field, so overall efficient night. One turnover, five dimes. That's what we're looking for, man. Steady. Steady. Good good decision making, man. That's all we need, man, is efficient, steady basketball. No one needs to go out there and, and go crazy, go off, you know, get your 30, 
10 and 8. No no one's looking for that. Uh, I mean, I am looking for that, but it has to be efficient if you're going to be good, if you're going to be doing that. It doesn't yeah. have to mean go get in your own. But if you play efficient basketball, play good, solid team basketball, and you're winning, man, Knicks fans are going to have a good time this season. Yeah. If that's what we're getting, the entire – the entire all 82. All 82, which we'll be 82. here for all 82, yeah. plus preseason. Oh, yeah, we're here, man. So, we're here.